So let's jump straight into the track guide guys of the new Indianapolis that's just been added to ACC. So coming into the first corner you want to have a look at the braking boards on the left hand side and brake just before the 400 meter board on the left hand side. You want to trail your brakes hard into the first corner, get a late apex, don't use the curb but get very close to it and then let your car go deep into this left hander just as the escape road end you want a little tap of the brakes for this left hander and then use this curb and get a late apex but use the curb to get the rotation in the car but just a tiny bit of braking for there coming into this right hander brake just after the start of the curb on the left hand side you want a late apex and open up this corner as much as you can you don't really need to use the curb because it can unsettle the car make sure you use all the exit on the outside of the track as you can see you can use a little bit of this gravel just after the curb and the car will still remain fairly stable. Turn in for this right hander just before this curb ends as you can see here. Be nice and smooth, don't really need to use much of the curb. Get a late apex because you want to be on the right hand side of the track coming into this left hander. You want a break just as the curb on the left ends as you can see here. You want to kind of V this hairpin so you want to go deep, clip that first apex here let the car go deep, bring it back in for the second apex here and then try and straight line the exit as much as you can. Coming into this right hander you want a little tap of the brakes just as the curb on the left ends. As you can see just a little bit of a brake. Get a late apex, you can use a little bit of the curb and just try and be smooth on the exit with your steering as much as you can. Get it straightened up as fast as you can so you can get a good exit onto this long straight afterwards. That corner is very crucial and it's very easy to lose the rear there. So you want to be smooth on the throttle. Coming into this left hander you want to brake at the 200 meter board on the left hand side. Hard braking here, you can use a tiny bit of this curb on the left but you don't need to because it can unsettle most cars. Then you want to bring the car back over to the left hand side as the curb ends on the left turn in for this right hander, just a little bit of a lift as you turn into the corner. Get a late apex and try and set up this left hander. You want to tap the brakes as the curb on the right finishes, shift down into second, keep it tight, use all the curbing, get turn in quite early because you want to be on the left hand side of the track so that here you can just tap the brakes, have an early turn in for this right hander as you see, turn in nice and early and that will allow you to open up the exit of this corner, get on the throttle early as you can see and then this will give you good straight line speed. So we sacrifice that left hander to open up this right hander and have better straight line speed. Coming into this right hander you want to brake about two car lengths before the first braking board on the left hand side. Trail the brakes all the way to the apex, get nice and close to that curb. Get a bit of a later apex as you can see here bring it over to the right hand side to open up the final corner. You want to brake just as the escape road on the left hand side finishes there. Get a late apex as you can see, use a little bit of the curb but you don't need to use much and then try and open up the exit as much as you can, get on the power early. Hold it to the right and then let it drift out wide, just make sure you stay in track limits. Let it drift out wide till you get a good straight line speed on the home straight. So that finishes the detailed track guide, now let's have a look at the lap without me talking through it.
As always, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and see you again next time.